going into night mode, man. Night mode. We're going on an adventure. We people celebrating all it from our homeland Like my old man said, there's nothing impossible So we have to bring this message to my brother Lyrical Street Previously on Delos We get to sail on a local Madagascar pirogue With our friend Flo So that's Nosy B there And we are just leaving We're gonna turn a bit more to starboard And we'll go 50 miles out to these banks here and you see it goes from like this spot it goes 18 to 50 then to 2000 I mean it's just a huge amount of drop-offs here 18 30 and then thousands on that side so this whole bank here just lies off the coast of Madagascar and the Mozambique channel massive currents go up and down this channel and it's apparently there's big big fish so we're going to try and go out there and dive and probably catch some fish, I don't know. But it's going to be an adventure. So it's 6 o'clock in the morning and the sun is just about to come up. Now I'm going to have a cup of tea. And look at this beautiful sunrise. Look at that. You cannot tell me that that does not remind you of the Lion King. Not a very good singer, am I? Anyways, I don't know if you can see that, but we're getting pretty close to where it shallows up. I can't see any kind of shallows yet, though. I've been looking in the binos and stuff, but. I don't know. I think it's still like a mile away, so I probably won't be able to see it until we're pretty close. We have dolphins in the bow. The water is so clear. Good morning, Brady. We've arrived. We've arrived at Castro Bank, but the charts are really far <laughs> off. I know. We really? should be. We should be in like 15 meters, but it's 90 or 100 meters of water. There's really nothing out here. <laughs> well, let's go to that spot and see what happens. Mm. Fuck. Our wind is gone. Kinda. <laughs> We lost all of our way. But yeah, we can see, you can see the water color change, which is kind of crazy. You're out in the middle of nowhere in the Mozambique Channel and you can see the water color start to shallow up. And we're got, well, yeah, we're in 30 meters now and we've gone from over 100, so. It's a cool spot, huh? So Brady's just gonna dive in for a little reconnaissance mission. And hopefully, Find something cool! Some really strong current. Brady's barely going anywhere. Cool. There was a few, a few fish, but no, man, it's not coral. It's like, uh, I don't know, just gray. <laughs> gray sand. Well, the diving doesn't look great. It's not a whole lot down there, but there are some big fish. So we rigged up the fishing lines and sailed back and forth along the drop-off to try to catch some dinner. It's a beautiful sunny day today, huh? Okay. Fish on, fish on! Reel it in, reel, reel it in! Oh. Woo! 
job fish. What is a job fish, Brady? I don't know. It looks like a job fish. <laughs> <laughs> when I see that, my brain goes, job fish. <laughs> Good job. That's what I call teeth. Nice one, mates. It's been a beautiful day sailing around beautiful conditions. We've lost fish, we've caught fish. Golden hour is coming soon. We're gonna fly the drone again. Some golden hour drone shots. Number one! <laughs> good job, bro. Thank you. I think that was a good fight. Wow. The moon. So where are we going, Brady? Brady? Where are Brady. we going? <clears throat> we Do you have another night sail, yeah? We have another night sail. So we're here, this is where we've been kind of going back and forth all day in Casper Bank. And then, let me zoom out, Nosy Bay is there, that's where we came from. We're gonna go north a bit, and we're gonna try and dive this area over the next few days. So, these islands right here, Les Croix de Fleur, the four brothers. Nice. And there's one, two, three, four. And they all go from like, nothing lime, high limestone to 20, 25, 30 meters. So, I think we'll aim for there. It's about 45 miles. Whoa, look at that plate! Look at that plate for Mr. Brady. Mate. Whoa. Fried potatoes what do you and got, salad bro? and fish with a little bit of dill, olive oil, Mate. salt, and pepper. I went a little bit heavy on the portions because I was hungry. I like it. <laughs> so, it's morning and I've been awake for a few hours. We should be at the dive site in about an hour and a half, I think. So I'll probably wake up the boys in like an hour and we can get ready and go for a dive. So we've just arrived and it looks pretty crazy. It's just like a 90 meter tall sort of rock coming out of the water. But it goes straight down. We're anchored in 30 meters okay. and we set the hook up that way got out 60 meters of chain. It's not that far, so if we just swim across, I think we'll just be able to come up the wall and as we get closer to the current, I think we'll probably get lots. Okay. I wanted to talk a little bit about why I love diving and why I think we do it so much out of any other kind of hobby or sport on Delos, I guess diving is our main thing. It's so cool when you kind of have that nervous feeling and you jump into the water and it all just disappears. Like you're there, like to 100% you're nowhere else and you're focusing on everything that has to do with that exact moment just going into that different world that is underwater that we know so little about. It's, it's a truly amazing experience.
what I found hidden away in a bag. Salt and vinegar chips. And I've been snacking them like crazy ever since Mr. Brady and Kaza went down, but they just popped up. Was it good? No, really? Cool. A lot of good wall stuff, huh? Yeah. So much macro stuff. Amazing. Mr. Brady got a toe cramp. Yeah. What happened, brother? My little one is just doing like a claw. Oh, no. Lots of cool things on the wall. Need some good footage. Yes. Time to warm up. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just dropped the guys off. Um, literally just from the boat, but we dropped like on the windy side of the island and it's just a lot of current, <laughs> a lot of wind, like pushing us onto the island. And now I'm just trying to get off, kind of away from it. But you can see the boys right there. They're just gonna drop on that and like kind of come around to the non-windy side. But it's a little intense. Maybe my pair can keep the camera off a little bit more. Oh. So now I'm just gonna kind of drift around out here on the it's the lee side of the island and wait for the boys to pop the sausage and I can go and pick them up. So I managed to pick up the boys and not run over anybody, which is a plus. And now we're on our way to Anchorage and we're having a nice kind of downwind sail, so it's awesome. Good day of diving, huh? Good day. So I was just trying to think about why we like diving in Madagascar so much. And to me, it comes down to two things. And the first is, it's super remote. Like, everywhere we go, we're pretty much the only people, which gives you a very special feeling. I mean, we have probably like 20 different islands. Let me just show you. Like, all of these islands out here are awesome dive sites. So the, really the second thing I really like about some of the dives here in Madagascar and the Four Brothers Islands is it was almost like four dives in one. Like you get to see so many different types of species living in different environments. I mean it's a 20 meter straight drop off which is sweet. I mean you don't really get to dive those that often. And then when you walk, work your way around the other side of the island, it was more shallow diving. So it was like seven to eight meters and you had a lot of schooling fish and we saw lobsters. You know, it's just cool to be able to see like so many different types of, of topographies like that in one place. So we like it and we're just gonna continue diving all these spots here and uh, see what the days bring us. So good times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
What? What happened to that green flash, really? Ah, dirty atmosphere over there, over <laughs> Africa. Too much smog. <laughs> smog. Good morning, everybody. It is day two of the Delos Dives Madagascar expedition. And we just left the anchorage. The weather is beautiful, sun shining. And we've picked another spot on the chart. Check it out. So we're just running high navex here. So the charts are actually pretty good. Hopefully it's showing up. But we're here, this is Mitsio. And we are going down here, Nosy Toloho. We're gonna anchor over here on this reef and then dive. It's gonna be an awesome day. Good morning. It's Thursday. I don't know what day it is, it doesn't matter, but we're gonna go on another dive today. But this is a spot that Rudy told us about. He said he's dove there before and said it was cool, so. Okay, we're out. Awesome. We're out. Looks pretty nice. Yeah, bit hard to say. Still in 40 meters here. Yeah. It's a dive plan, Brady. Uh, the dive plan is to swim down the anchor chain, go to the anchor, and then swim at a compass bearing of like 315. And hopefully we'll find the drop. I think we'll find something. What do you reckon, mate? Let's go breathe underwater. We got our, our beast, GH4 and our naughty cam housing, and GoPro red filter. Why do I love diving so much? I think it's probably because it's it's like the least explored part of our planet. And it's crazy because so much of the earth is covered by water and yet we know so very little about it. I mean we're here anchored in Delos in this random place in Madagascar and you can go down like 15 meters not very far and you see these incredible creatures that you'd never seen before. You know, it's, it's quiet, it's just you, and you hear the sound of your breathing, and you just pay attention to things that you normally wouldn't. There's a lot of good things. I could go on and on and on, but that's just two of them. So the boys have been down for a while now, but I can see their bubbles, they're getting closer. Yeah, so we saw... <coughs> what do you mean? We saw a seahorse. What? Yeah. yeah, like this big, a big one. A seahorse? Sea what the fuck? And a mantis shrimp. Like no a big way. one, <laughs> like this big. That's awesome. You've been wanting to see a seahorse since the beginning of times. I know. I got my seahorse. <gasps> After dive cleanup time, huh? This. Another wonderful day, man. It's like clockwork. Nobody talks. <laughs> Just, Just put the gear away, tank, stow it. Tanks get put away, tied up, gear gets washed down. Anchor and then it's chill time. Good day, guys. Good day. Good day. So it's about 6.30 right now, um, 
we're on our way kind of back to Nosy Bay. We're gonna try to dive one of the wrecks there. And I guess we should be kind of at that dive site in a few hours. But look at this sunrise. And I'm really enjoying it out here. I just had a banana. It's weird, we haven't had internet for, yeah, about a week now. And just be back into the land of internet is a bit special. <laughs> it's always a bit overwhelming, I find. You know, your phone, you start going bing, 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 bing. You have messages and it's posts. And it's just been really cool to get out. I mean, we're doing a lot of work and stuff in front of the computers and just have a break from that and just enjoy and be in the water and stuff. It's really, really, really cool. Everyone had a good sleep? I had such a good sleep. <laughs> and we're back near our home base in Crater Bay, but there's a wreck out here that somebody told us about called the Mitsio Wreck. And we're coming up to it now. Yeah, I'm excited about a wreck dive. It's my favorite dives. So, uh, I think we definitely found the spot. It's quite a lot of fishing boats. <laughs> so they know where it is. So it's a poor man's underwater lighting <laughs> setup. we couldn't afford the proper lights when we left Cape Town. <laughs> I think this will work Dude, that's great, man. I'm gonna work perfectly. Whoa! Dude, it's like a submarine. Boom town, bitches. You guys ready? I'm ready. You ready, Kazatron? I'm ready. Let's go see a ship underwater. Okay. With some reef and some fishies on it. Underneath the fishermen. Yeah, as long as you don't get hooked by a hook, bro. <laughs> watch out for these. Yeah, watch out for these. Watch out for the local long liners. Shit. <laughs> so low tide is at 2 p.m., so the current should be blasting that way right now. Okay. Gear up. Yeah. I think for me, scuba diving is way more than a sport or a hobby or, or recreation. It's it's a form of relaxation or even meditation sometimes. It's like the closest thing here on Earth you'll ever get to being in space. Just being weightless and kind of in slow motion all the time. And for me, diving kind of reconnects you with the sea. Like it feels like you're part of it again. You're part of the ocean. You're part of the whole ecosystem. Yes, it's a magical place underwater. relaxation, it's adventure, it's peace, it's history, it's learning, it's exercise, it's all of those all into one. <laughs> Tell me about it. Whoa, it was awesome. But man, all kinds of fish, like big, big jacks. Jacks like one meter long, you Whoa. know? Like I haven't big seen that. Big schools of the yellow fusiliers. Lots of lionfish. Lots of lionfish, huh? Yeah. More eels, nudie branches, like so many cool fishies. And this whole time, it's been like, like we can see the anchorage <laughs> that we spend months at, and this wreck is just sitting out here. <laughs> it's awesome. Not a bad day of diving, really. I think we did pretty good today. 
And this is our commute home. Check it out. I turned I turn 30 soon. <laughs> I don't my back me. hurts. I need a massage. My back hurts after a tough day of diving and laying around. It's tough. <laughs> Cheers to a good day. Rumbos. And turning 30 soon. <laughs> Two more months. Wow. Wow. Up next, we sail with our new friends Ben and Tanya and go swimming with whale sharks. <laughs> okay, so. First thing in the morning. <laughs> That's a wrap. <laughs> like it? I like it a lot. Brian is just taking his shit off the back. <laughs> the boat's mine, let's go! Diving. Oh shit, the battery's real low. Change battery.